please welcome back to my channel so i just want to say thank you for joining me don't forget to leave behind a like and subscribe okay you've got the priestess of success this is someone who presents themselves very very confidently okay um they've got the eagle next to them here okay so i do believe this person is single right now um I feel like they have a bit of an entrepreneurship energy about them. They're coming in with very masculine energy. The dates that the Priestess of Success rules are March 18th to April 14th. Um, so some of you might be having um, a fellow Aries uh, coming in, maybe even borderline Pisces Aries person coming in or might have that placement somewhere in their natal chart. Um, the bird is often seen as a messenger, so it could be someone that's a very a very good communicator. They're a messenger of some sort here. Um, they they present themselves quite confidently. They're very articulate. They've they're they're quite charming. Okay, they've got a way with words. Um, this person. Um, they're coming in very very successful here, almost like with a halo around them. So I believe they've they've. Um, reached some sort of level of success in their life okay um they they um inspire or lead a lot of people this could be professionally or this could be just spiritually through their energy i do believe they are a pioneer in a lot of ways um especially because you know the eagle travels alone um, if they do have that Aries energy coming through with those dates, I do believe that this person is very similar to you, a bit of a, um, a firecracker, um, a game changer, a shapeshifter, a, a trailblazer, an influencer. They make an impact around the people um, everywhere they go, okay, around the people. They, they just have that effect on people here. Um, but I love the green. I feel like this can also symbolize them to be quite an, um, a grounded person, okay? So they might have elevation or success around them that I do sense this person is quite grounded, okay, which is really, really nice. It's very refreshing. They're very humble, okay? And there's a lot of growth potentially happening around this this person right now um, messages could be coming in very very soon around this person the bird carries a message okay communication of some sort um, is occurring here okay let's have a look what else comes up for this person who is this person coming in around you okay four of swords i definitely feel like this person has air energy somewhere in their natal chart Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Definitely the notion of a soloist, okay? I feel like this person is um, an entrepreneur, is currently single, extremely independent, okay? Not very clingy, not very codependent. Um, they could be concentrating on themselves right now in their spiritual quests. Um, the Four of Swords is often a bit of a slumber here. This person might be taking a step back away from love, considering it's a love reading. They might be taking a step back away from love, not really putting too much focus or emphasis on love at this point in time. Um, I do believe they don't let a lot of people get close to them as well, okay? There might be a, a certain guard here. They might have their guard up. They could also be prone to anxiousness, um, insomnia. But I, I feel like their, spirit, their spiritual growth that's happening around them right now Anyway, um, let's have a look what else comes up. Okay, the Magician. This is the time of Aries that has come up. Very interesting. Um, the Trailblazer, the Pioneer. He's the first of the Tarot deck, the first of the Zodiac sign. This person is, is, is doing a lot of firsts in their life right now. So that's very nice to see. I do believe they have some sort of talent or craft um, that they're possibly discovering around this point in time. Um, I sense that you might um, you might find yourself, your creative endeavors, your personal pursuits might lead you um, to this person, okay? It might lead you in some way to them. Uh, again, the wings, the birds, messengers, uh, message, communication. This person might work in communication or psychology, something about relaying messages. Uh, the, the magician is also well known for his crafts. This person could be quite talented, but it's an individualistic approach. So it's either they've got a very autonomous role uh, or perhaps... Um, 
they're starting their own creative pursuit or endeavor will be very lucky will be very well known for this endeavor that they start or will start um, with the magician they're tinkering with a lot i feel like they're in a period where they're experimenting okay nine of swords definitely air placement in this person's chart okay i feel like um they're, they're currently at a time in their life where they're looking above for answers, okay? They might be looking to God, to spirituality, religion. They're looking above for answers. You can see this person looking above. Uh, it's like a spiral of thoughts and these dark ravens, you know, travel in a pack in a circle here. Um, I feel like right now they're in a period of their life where they're hoping for light at the other side of the tunnel here. Um, especially in communication somehow. So if you're already connected to this person, they're hoping for more communication or more positive communication or affirmation. It's almost like reassurance. They could be someone that does suffer from a little bit of self-esteem issues. I feel like the way they present themselves is someone very proud and successful and confident. But underneath that, I do feel like this person has vulnerable layers. So you might find that this person doesn't give away a lot. But mentally, I see that this person is quite complex. Okay, there's there's a certain element of complexity about them. Um, and there, there's something about always needing validation or reassurance. Um, that's coming up quite strongly as well. Um, it's also like sub submission, okay? Really, they could be quite timid and submissive. There's definitely a side of them that is more low-key, more reserved, more disconnected or detached Aries. But I do sense that a part of them um, it definitely has this air energy. Nine of Swords is anxiousness or nervousness. Um, they might have not had much luck in love lately, okay? And if they have, um, they might have been scarred. They might have been taking a break in their love life because the magician can often manipulate things. So they might have been tricked or played you know, burnt by someone, not necessarily an Aries, but someone that has made them a little bit fearful of getting involved in a serious long-term relationship. Okay, this is further reiterated with the Seven of Swords, which possibly um, denotes uh, deceit, hardship, restrictions, confinements, um, confinements of the mind, mental disconnection here. So yes, okay, a part of them could suffer from anxiousness but the seven of swords i feel as though there's deceit around this person okay either in their past or happening to them right now um it could be within a friend thing as well they might have been deceived by people they were involved in business with or perhaps through a friend okay there might have been some sort of deceit it could have even been with an ex-lover um i feel like they might have someone that still is lurking around them it could even be like a, an ex checking in on them um or someone like keeping watch or if it's not someone keeping watch on them then they're keeping watch on on someone okay um, but i don't think this person has feelings for that other person anymore i think it's it, it's more like this person is causing them a bit of uh, it's like a hindrance a bit of a nuisance here maybe um so that's coming up I definitely feel like there's transformation. This person wants to soar to new heights, new levels, new adventures. The notion that they're still stuck on this platform and they haven't taken off yet shows that this person is currently um, only now in the early stages of what could be a powerful initiation or transformation, okay? And I do think it's around the self. So self-empowerment, goals, personality, wants, needs, desires, uh, etc. I do think this person is is quite active, um, quite athletic. They could look after themselves quite well. I am seeing a lot of whites and yellows. So this person might have fair, fair features, red hair, blonde hair um, as well. They could like being outside with nature, okay, crystals, nature, the spiritual realm as well. Okay, the Hanged Man, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Swords. 
Okay, hangman, they're definitely in an element of suspense in their life right now. Um, they're definitely imbalanced, um, is what I'm seeing. The hangman is held in suspension because of something he's done. Um, I feel like this person is weighing up a lot of things. There's a major reveal happening with the high priestess. It's either a major epiphany or transformation. Um, they they feel it coming on some being on some level. The high priestess is intuitive energy, so I think they're aware that there's some sort of change in their life. Um, it's either to do with love, so they're aware that they've been waiting for love. Okay, they, they might be waiting for you. I feel like they're waiting for their son. So that's nice that that has come up. Um, I do sense that this person is waiting for someone to brighten up their life, um, and and although they could, they are quite independent. Um, I do sense that they are waiting for creativity, for for youthfulness. The sun also does rule youthfulness and children, so this person might be quite maternal or paternal, or at a stage in their life where they're wanting children or they're wanting a partner to play a stepmother or a step figure role to their own children. Possibly wanting that family unit here as well with the hangman. Um, but definitely a lot of inspiration, okay? It's almost like the halo again. It's reverence, inspiration, idolatry that's coming in around this person. They're definitely quite creative, okay? They've got a lot of ideas. Again, athleticism. They might partake in meditation, um, inversions, gym classes. I do sense them to be quite active, but now I feel like their focus has shifted more on their mind, their mental state, their happiness, their sense of worth, their self-esteem, etc. The High Priestess here is this massive intuitive energy. I feel like this person is quite intuitive. They might have some sort of gift here. Um, the High Priestess is a very strong feminine energy, so this person might have a very good relationship with their mother, sisters, girlfriends, female colleagues. Um, there's a there's a very um, a very healthy respect this person places towards other females or women in their life. So this is quite an admirable quality that they have, Aries. Um, they also could be quite religious or traditional, um, possibly of Jewish, Christian, or um, Muslim religion, so the Abrahamic religions is coming up quite strongly. Um, I do believe the fact that she holds the Torah here, um, they they live their, they live quite righteously, or maybe they're only recently starting to. There's some sort of religious connotation coming in around them, so it's either they're only recently dabbling in religion, they're only recently open to getting married, um, but, but I do sense that there's a traditional quality about this person. Um, the pomegranate fruit is also symbolic of fertility and children, youthfulness. This person might work with children um, or want children. Uh, or have a large family that where they have lots of little siblings, okay? Um, they, they, I do feel like they come from a larger family. Um, that's with the high priestess energy. This is a very destined connection, absolutely beautiful.